started the app thing. Uh, whew, here we go. So I'm swiping, I'm swiping, and now I got to one. 32, picture with a dog, likes to travel. Picture with a kid, is it his kid? No, it's his niece, we're good. Um, no gym or mirror pics. 1.79. Now, it took me a really long time to figure out why guys put numbers like this on their profile. Because I'm from America, we measure height and feet because we're annoying and elitist. So I had no idea that these guys are telling me how tall they were. I thought they were just giving themselves really bad scores. <laughs> really bad. But can you imagine how great that would be if Tinder had a scoring system, like Get Taxi or, uh, or TripAdvisor? How many mistakes you would have avoided? before checking the reviews. We, we don't book an Airbnb without reading the comments. We don't go see a movie without checking Rotten Tomatoes. We don't even look for a new hairstylist in Seeker Tel Aviv without posting about it. By the way, you're not the only one with curly hair in Israel. Use the search function, people! So annoying! So anyway, why am I gonna try to dick with zero stars? Um, but I swiped right, and boom, it's a match. I used to be flattered by this until I saw how guys actually use Tinder. It's like, swipe right, swipe right, swipe right, match. Sends GIF, swipe right, swipe right, swipe right. So uh, we set up a date, and we're gonna go have a drink, and I got Betty and excited, and did my hair and my makeup, and then 15 minutes before we're supposed to meet, uh, he sends me a message. Hey, how about instead we just meet at my place and have a drink? <sighs> guys. Never mind that it's super rude and total fuckboy behavior. You really think I'm gonna come to your house to meet you for the first time? Like, meeting someone from an app goes already against everything we learned on Stranger Danger, but at least in a public space, you're safe, right? Maybe I'm a little paranoid, okay? But I'm from Florida, and in Florida, men do crazy shit. Have you read these headlines? Like, you see, Florida man accused of killing his wife and four children. Florida man stabs his girlfriend to death live on FaceTime. Florida man charged with assault with a deadly weapon after throwing alligator through the window of the drive-thru at Wendy's. These are all real stories from this week. I googled it for the joke. Actually. So I just wrote to him like, really dude? And he was like, look, I just want to get to know you in a really quiet place. Um, and I was like, you know what? Maybe you got your apps confused. If you want to satisfy your needs without leaving your house, open up Walt, because I don't do deliveries. Oh. Especially on orders under 180. Ooh. I was really proud of myself for that one, yeah. 